today we are going to discuss binomial distribution okay so why we require the binomial distribution let us discuss why we require the binomial distribution suppose already we have did the problems a fair coin is tossed two times a fair coin is tossed two times probability of getting one head this model already we did in the previous lessons so how you have to do the first step is the you find the you have to find out the a sample space for this one so when two kinds are tossed the sample space consists of two square elements that is nothing but four elements that is this is the first element second element third element and fourth element so we require probability of one head means how many pairs are favorable to one head this pair is having one head this pair is having one head therefore two pairs are favorable out of the four pairs therefore probability of one head is equal to 2 by 4 okay it's simple okay next if you consider this problem this same model here a fair coin is tossed 100 times what is the probability of getting 80 heads probability of getting 80 heads suppose if you consider this problem the sample space consists of 2 power 100 elements 2 power 100 elements therefore it is uh, very difficult task to find out the sample space then we require the binomial distribution so how we can use the binomial distribution for this type of problems we will discuss in the next slides so binomial distribution is a discrete probability distribution so next one when you can use the binomial distribution means uh, there are only two possible outcomes when you have come across the two possible outcomes then we can use the binomial distribution suppose when a coin is tossed you are going to get a head or a tail either head or tail so the possible outcomes is two that's why we can use the binomial distribution so here similarly the probability of getting r success in n trials the formula is probability of x is equal to r is nothing but n c r into p power r into q power n minus r so where p stands for the probability of success q stands for the probability of failure so similarly mean of the binomial distribution is n into p and variance of the binomial distribution is n into p into q so while doing the problems we can understand what is the use of this formula probability of x is equal to r okay next we go for the next slide please next we will discuss the some problems so first problem a fair coin is tossed two times probability of getting one head already this problem we did in the previous slides the answer is how much 2 by 4 the answer is 2 by 4 so how you did the in the previous slide find the sample space find the probability of getting one head now here i will apply the binomial distribution so here n value is how much n value two times coin is tossed two times therefore n is equal to 2 p probability of getting one head if a coin is tossed if a single coin is tossed probability of getting one head is equal to 1 by 2 similarly probability of getting not getting head is also 1 by 2 and uh, r r is equal to 1 for this problem because p of x is equal to 1 probability of getting one head that's why p of x is equal to 1 means formula is n c r p power r q power n minus r therefore 2 c 1 into p stands for 1 by 2 q stands for also 1 by 2 therefore if you, if you simplify this one you are going to get 2 by 4 so if you do the in the samp using sample space you are getting 1 by 2 or 2 by 4 here also using binomial distribution you are going to get the 2 by 4 okay next we will see another problem a fair coin is six times a fair coin is six times probability of getting exactly four heads probability of getting at least four heads or x greater than or equal to four okay suppose if you want to solve this problem using conventional method the sample space consists of the 2 power 6 elements 
so it is a big task therefore we will use the binomial distribution so binomial distribution we require the n value n is equal to how much 6 p is equal to how much when a single coin is tossed getting head 1 by 2 similarly not getting head is equal to 1 by 2 the first problem if you consider p of x is equal to 4 r value is 4 here ok r value is equal to 4 ncr 6c4 into p value 1 by 2 and q also 1 by 2 so if you simplify you are going to get p of x is equal to 4 similarly p of x greater than or equal to 4 p of x greater than or equal to 4 means p of x is equal to 4 plus p of x is equal to 5 plus p of x is equal to 6 p of x is equal to 4 p of x is equal to 4 means r value is 4 here therefore 6 c 4 into 1 by 2 again 1 by 2 whole power 4 whole square here for this one r value is 5 therefore 6 c 5 into 1 by 2 whole power 5 into 1 by 2 whole power 1 here for this one r value is 6 6 c 6 into 1 by 2 whole power 6 into 1 by 2 whole power 0 if you simplify you are going to get the answer ok next 20 percent of items 20 percent of items in a factory are defective here in this problem you don't have the it is not a coin based problem then how you can decide that this problem belongs to the binomial distribution suppose 20 percent of a items in a factory are defective means the remaining are good therefore the possible outcomes is 2 that's why this problem is belongs to the binomial distribution and in a sample of 5 chosen at random in a sample of 5 chosen at random therefore n value is equal to 5 and the p value is equal to 20 percent means nothing but 1 by 5 q value is equal to 1 minus 1 by 5 1 minus 1 by 5 4 by 5 so the first problem is probability of x is equal to 0 probability of x is equal to 0 means ncr for this problem r is equal to 0 5c 0 p value is 1 by 5 q value is 4 by 5 so 1 by 5 whole power 0 4 by whole power 5 simplify this one you will get the answer probability of x is equal to 1 r value is 1 therefore 5c1 1, 1 by 5 comma 4 by 5 therefore you are going to if you simplify you are going to get the answer similarly p of 1 less than x less than 4 nothing but probability of x is equal to 2 p of x is equal to 3 here r value is equal to 2 therefore 5c2 into 1 by 5 4 by 5 1 by 5 whole square 4 by 5 whole cube here r value is 3 5 c 3 into 1 by 5 4 by 5 whole cube whole square simplify this one you are going to get the answer ok so this is a basic uh, um, concepts regarding the binomial distribution ok thank you